In a world where violence is not permitted, use your fragrance and annoy the hell out of them. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. Yes, let's talk about fragrances that you can use to piece off your coworkers. How? Well, uh, there are multiple techniques. Let's see. And no, I'm not gonna say don't put on deodorant and spray your Sauvage. That's just not the direction I want to use today. I'm gonna start with something heavy. No matter how you look at it, this is not for the weak of heart. I'm gonna put a picture here because obviously I don't have this fragrance. I cannot wear this fragrance. I'm not strong enough for this fragrance, but maybe you are. Fragrantica describes Oud Infini from Dusita as may not appeal to those who prefer clean or fresh scents. Really? Wow, okay, that's an understatement. And suitable for adventurous and unique personalities. <laughs> yes, um, let's just say that if you spray this, you don't even have to overspray it. You can have the office for yourself, basically. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. This is the opposite of what we call an office-friendly fragrance. If you look in the dictionary for the word animalic, there is a picture of this fragrance. Okay, okay, let's calm down a little bit because we don't want to kill anyone. We just want to annoy them a little bit, okay? We don't take things so seriously because that one, the first one, that was pretty serious. This next one is still about wood and rose, but it's missing the animalic part. Still, so not appropriate for the office. And I'm talking about Shagaf wood from Swiss Arabian. This is such a bomb and it's so affordable. Officially, I don't recommend anyone to overspray this, but off the record, I mean, you do you. I've recently mentioned this next fragrance in one of my shorts and I talked about it because to me it smells like a mistress in a dungeon. Oh my, my. Yeah, I know, it's very precise, but that's kind of what it evokes. On top of that, it's such a strong fragrance and chances are that someone will be bothered especially if you overspray this. And I'm talking about Above and Beyond from A13. I don't have the notes of this one in front of me, but to me, this smells like a combination of leather and wood. Again, it's pretty animalic, it's pretty edgy. And on top of that, it comes from the heart of Transylvania. I'm totally changing it up because this next scent is not hard to understand. It's not dark. It's not even edgy or anything of that sort. It's actually the opposite of that. And I'm talking about Sugar Addict from Born to Stand Out. My first fragrance from this brand, and this is actually a very new release. Now, why would this annoy anyone? Because I think the smell is extremely mass appealing, without being boring, without being generic, so what is wrong with it? There is some truth in the name of this perfume. Addict, that part especially. So I was wearing this fragrance, I was in the supermarket wearing Crocs and a baggy t-shirt, so I mean no makeup, whatever, it wasn't a nice view necessarily, but uh, I was wearing a lot of this. So I did overspray, that was on me, I passed by someone and they kind of stop and they start looking for a dessert that they thought smelled like this. And I know that because they told me after. Because I was chased down in the supermarket like the trace i left basically was used <laughs> as a weapon you know against me not, not really but um you know and and i suddenly have this person in front of me asking me is it you smelling like this this smells amazing i've never smelled anything like this and i'm like well yeah it must be me because i knew i sprayed a lot so i was like okay it must be me i probably exaggerated and and they asked me, like, what is this? And I'm like, well, obviously it's a fragrance. But it smells so good. I've never smelled a fragrance that smells like this. It's, it's, it's addictive. I thought it's some sort of dessert and I wanted to buy it. 
So I was like, okay, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. So as soon as I left, I was thinking, hmm, if you wear this and there are a lot of people around you, you're gonna make them crave something sweet. You're gonna make their sugar levels go up. And the last weaponizable fragrance in today's video is Ganymed. You don't wanna know how many people told me that I smell like cold metal wearing this one. System online. Did it make me stop liking it or stop wearing it or stop getting a new bottle like I just did? No. But is this a mass appealing perfume? Do people want to get closer to you when you wear this? Absolutely not. They will stay far from you. Most of them, unless they're into fragrances. Of course, I want you to put in the comments something you would use for the same purpose. Something that is so annoying yet you still kind of enjoy, you still manage to wear, at least sometimes. But don't just pick something that stinks. I mean, obviously, if it stinks, you're not gonna enjoy it yourself. You need to enjoy it. Everything I put in today's video, I'm actually enjoying. Maybe besides the first one, because I just think it's too much for me. But then again, things might change and you might see me, you know, having a bottle on, on these shelves at some point, who knows? At this point, I'm not ready, but I'm not saying never to it. This being said, I wish you an amazing Sunday and I will see you next week with another video. Bye-bye.